Okay, I'm Blaze. I grew up in the peninsula, so San Jose, Mountain View, Sunnyvale. Before I came to House of Grace, I had um, been in an abusive relationship for a few years. I was using drugs, had already been to prison, experienced homelessness. I had my son. Uh, my name is Catherine. I grew up in San Jose, California. I was very unstable. I was jumping around from shelter to shelter. I dove heavily into drugs and alcohol, so always bouncing back after relapse, um, never really getting solid ground with stability. And I tried quitting many times, but by myself, as a single mom, it was really hard to go through that um, without help. You know, every time I would come back from a relapse, it would be harder to just pick myself up. You know, and I noticed that I would just lose more and more and more. I've lost everything this time, so, yeah. There were like nights where like I would sleep in my car. Yeah, it was hard. That was a turning point for me was, um, it was actually going to jail probably, and I was able to get clean. I ended up getting pregnant and I found out that I was gonna, you know, be a mom and I wanted to keep it. And I just knew like, this was it. I had to do something different. I had to really try this time. I got a sponsor and she really encouraged me to, to go to Heritage Home. My first day at House of Grace was exciting. It was new. Everyone was like so sweet and nice. The first time I came into Heritage Home, I felt safe. I felt like it was baby friendly. I just felt like this was not so much like a program, um, but more like a home. Heritage Home helps me understand the type of mother that I want to be and the type of woman um, that I want to be for the community. House of Grace has provided me a place where I can get closer to God, where I can build godly relationships with other women. Just have people that know you and love you no matter what and that can hold you accountable and want to see you grow and want to love and support you. When you're in this house, you really get to know your sisters. You're with them pretty much 24-7. You heal with them, you laugh with them, you know, you're there for them and they're there for you for the long haul, like out of the program and it's a really good thing. When I got here, um, I didn't have custody of my son and I was really heartbroken about it. I had to go to court and I wouldn't have been able to get my son back without the community here, without all their support. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to have a routine with him and to just be eating together, to do the bath time, reading books, and to be showing him Jesus. Like, I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. That's like the best gift that I could ever get is just to know that my son has Jesus in his heart now. I gave birth to Jasmine Marie. She's my little frog that I love when she sits on my chest and her heart my heartbeat is there and she can hear me and I get to care for something, you know, a whole new journey with her, you know, and she never has to see me loaded. She never has to see me drunk. She never has to see me in poverty. Jasmine, my baby, is going to grow up knowing what this house is and knowing like this is part, this is part of her. And I'm just like so excited. I love her so much. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. I think God is the one thing that heals us, and I do think He has His hand over House of Grace. I think I would still be going in circles if, if House of Grace wasn't here. I feel like I have a chance, and my daughter has a chance, and I didn't have to cut any corners or, or do or degrade myself or, um, or do anything that I didn't feel was right to get these blessings. Like I just came here and she's set for life. Like she's gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay. Like it's gonna be okay, you know? Okay. <laughs>